adding fractions. Now adding fractions is harder. Adding and subtracting fractions is harder than multiplying and dividing. I'm going to start with adding fractions, but promise me once you get this subtraction is just the exact opposite and multiply and divide piece of cake <clears throat> here. This is why we add fractions the way we do. Let's say I have one quarter plus one quarter. Okay. And I'm going to use <coughs> one of my circles here. So, oh, sorry, just that. Um, I'm going to move this circle over here just for a sec. I want you just to focus right now on this circle. All right. That's what we're looking at. If I divide my circle, oh my God, that was terrible. If I divide my circle evenly, pretend this is even and I eat a quarter of the pizza, that's this. And then I eat another quarter of a pizza. That's this. That's going to equal two quarters. Do you see how I add the two top numbers to get here, but I don't add these numbers. This just comes right over here. This is called your numerator. This is your denominator. Why don't I say four plus four equals eight? Because I'm adding, I've said I'm adding. Why does four stay the same? Because how many pieces do I have still in total? I have four in total, don't I? But I've eaten two slices. So I've eaten two out of four. That's why when we add fractions, we actually only add the numerators. That's the top one numerators. <clears throat> we do not add not add the denominators. We do not add the denominators, which is these numbers down here. Here's the big, crazy, important thing though. The denominators must be the same. Let me show you why. Okay. This is why this is where my other circle comes into play. I'm going to move this over here. Here I have this circle and this circle. All right. This is Willow's pizza. This is Willow's pizza. And this is Lynn's pizza. Okay. Here's Lynn's pizza. Here's Willow pizza. Would you agree? They're exactly the same size. They're the same size pizza. They're both this, they're medium pizzas. We got them from pizza pizza. They're exactly the same size. Brian comes in and says, Hey Lynn, can I have a slice of your pizza? I say, okay, here you go. So he has one slice of my pizza. Then he goes to Willow and says, Hey Willow, can I have one slice of your pizza? And Willow says, mm, okay, Brian, but, uh, that's quite a lot. Now, how many slices do you have in total? Willow has four slices in total. The bottom number is always the total. Hang on. How many slices do I have in total? I have eight. Well, that's not the same thing. This is smaller. So while Brian still had one piece of mine, he didn't really, he had an eighth with yours. He had more than that. So you can't really add these. It's not the same thing. You can't add them up because they're not the same. He got way more pizza from you and less from me. You have three quarters left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more pieces of my 
pizza pie. So we can't add these. We have to have the bottoms the same. So what we do is we find a common bottom. So I'm going to take this eighth here, one eighth, and I'm going to make yours into eight. Ah ha ha. Now this quarter becomes how much? It's actually two eighths. Now we know that Brian had three eighths of a pizza. He had one eighth here, but he actually had two eighths here. Then we add the tops, which is three out of this line means out of three out of eight pieces that are denominator. See how we still keep our H, but the denominators must be the same. This is the understanding of why we add fractions the way we do.